Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. I've got um, IXL 8th grade math. Section AA is systems of linear equations. Today we're going to do one of my favorite um, skills to teach and do actually in math and that's solve a system of equations using elimination. What you'll find is it works really well when uh, the equations are in what we call standard form. This AX plus BY equals C form right here. Uh, and this one is picture perfect made for the elimination method because the elimination method or what some people call the combination method the first thing well not the first thing you do but the major thing we do is that we add the two equations together and in this one we add the 6x to the negative 6x and that adds up to 0x and that's the whole idea is that we want to add the equations together and eliminate one of the variables meanwhile 8y and negative 6y makes 2y and 12 and 6 makes 18. And then we can solve that equation by dividing both sides by 2. And now we know that y is 9. So now we have one of the two missing variables. We just have to go figure out what x is. Um, and what I'll do is, you can pick either equation, but I'll just pick this one. And I'm going to plug 9 in for y into it. So 6x plus 8 times 9. equals 12. Do some simplifying here and solving this equation. Um, 8 times 9 is 72. And then subtract 72 from both sides to get negative 60. And then divide both sides by uh, x, or by 6 rather, and you get... No, you don't. You get... you get negative 10. So x equals negative 10. So our solution here is x is negative 10, y is 9. All right, let's get to another one here. Uh, this one, we can't just combine them together, although I am looking, because nothing would cancel out, I am looking at the y values though, and they're both negative 3y. So what I'm thinking is if we take this top equation and multiply everything in it by um, a negative 1, we'd get 3y, the, the y term would turn positive. So instead of negative 4x, positive 4x. Instead of negative 3y, positive 3y. Instead of negative 7, positive 7. And then this equation, we'll just leave it as is. So negative 3x minus 3y equals negative uh, 3. Okay, and then we'll add the equations together because now the y terms cancel out. 4x plus negative 3x is just x, and 7 plus negative 3 is 4. So now we know the x value is 4. I'm going to come back over here to this equation and replace x with 4. Then I'll solve this equation by first doing some multiplication over there. And then adding 12 to both sides. And then dividing both sides by negative 3. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So now we get that x is 4 and y is negative 3. So in the first example, we found x first, or I'm sorry, we found y first and then found x. And then in this one, we found x first and then used the x value to find y. Okay, uh, on this equation, let's see. I'm looking at the y values again. And even though they're not opposites of each other or they're not even the same, I am thinking if I multiply that entire top equation by 2, then I'll have 4y and negative 4y. So let's double everything. So make it 14x plus... Uh, 4y equals negative 40. With the bottom equation, again, we'll just leave it the same. So it's 5x minus 4y equals 2. And then we'll combine the equations together or to eliminate one of the variables, the y values. So 14x and 5x makes 19x. Negative 40 and 2 makes negative 38. 
And when you divide both sides by 19, you get that x is negative 2. Now we can use that negative 2 to figure out what y is. You can plug that negative 2 into either equation. It really doesn't matter. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll plug it into this top one here. So I'm going to go 7 times uh, negative 2 plus 2y equals negative 20. Then I'll multiply. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 plus 2y equals negative 20. Then I'll add 14 to both sides. 2y equals negative 6. And then divide both sides by 2 and I get that y is negative 3. So my solution here is the point negative 2, negative 3. That is the only point that works in both equations. If you graphed these two, which would be a lot tougher, these two equations, this is the point where they would cross. All right, so what can we do to get things to eliminate here? I mean, you really have choices. That's the nice thing about this method, too. Maybe I'll multiply the top equation by negative 4 to get the x values to cross out, or maybe I'll multiply the bottom equation by negative 3 to get the y's to cancel out. <clears throat> well, I think I'll take my first choice. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 4. Negative 4x, then negative 3y times negative 4 is positive 12y. And then 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. So you got to be careful there on that step multiplying everything by negative 4. The second equation I'm not going to do anything to. And then I'm going to add the two equations together. So the x values are gone. 12y and negative 1y makes 11y. And negative 60 and negative 17 makes negative 77. So y is negative 7 when we divide both sides by um, 11. <clears throat> um, next, I'm going to definitely choose the top equation to figure out what x is because there's no coefficient of x, and I think that's going to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to go x minus 3 times negative 7 uh, equals 15. x plus 21, negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21, equals 15. And then subtract 21 from both sides and we get negative 6. So our solution is negative 6, negative 7. And that's the point where these two lines would cross. One more. And this one I chose on purpose because we're going to have to choose, we're going to have to alter both equations. So how about um, let's multiply the top equation by 4. So that's going to give me negative 28x minus 20y equals 12. And the t bottom equation, I'm going to multiply by um, negative 7. And that's going to be to create a positive 28x. So negative 7 times negative 4 is 28. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. And negative 7 times negative 19 is positive 133. So now when we add these two equations together, um, the x values cancel out. We get 29y equals 145. Boy, I hope 145 is divisible by 29. It is, so y equals 5. Now we just have to figure out what x is. Um, so I'll take this bottom equation here and I'll plug 5 into it for y. Negative 4x minus 7 times 5 instead of y equals negative 19. Then uh, I'll multiply. So negative 7 times 5 is negative 35. Then I'll add 35 to both sides, so negative 19 plus 35 is 16. And lastly, just divide both sides by negative 4, and 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. So our solution is negative 4, 
positive 5. Negative 4 for x, positive 5 for y. And in the first skill of this section, we learned how to check that answers are solutions to a system. So you could use that skill to go back and check your answer before you hit submit. So solving a system of equations using elimination skill ZQV in section double A of IXL's 8th grade math.